From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night of financial news from Wall Street to Main Street with incredible details about your for some check update of 2021. And the breaking news tonight is the Dow ended up for the day, but down dramatically for the week. Brent crude surged back up to a 111 tonight, up 382. The Dow up 215 points, 1%, and NASDAQ up 3% to 319, and 10 year Treasury to 292. But what's going on with your big money? The big money is coming and it has landed by direct deposit. A forcedless check has landed in every US state, and tonight we're going to go over those incredible checks and how you can get it. The great details is all upon us as a forcedless check has landed in every U.S. state, and I'll show you how to get it in tonight's recording. Then we'll go over the latest breaking details of that hit the market this week. The consumer price index, the PPI, the labor numbers, unemployment, then what that impacts for your wallet. We'll be covering Build Back Better Act tonight, SS300. We'll also be covering what is going on with that student loan debt forgiveness. What is going on with the Chinese lockdown? Is it ending sooner than later? And then what does that mean for your inflation? Next up, recession. I was the first to give you guidance about that coming later this year, but when is it coming? And is the guidance from Jay Powell late yesterday incorrect or correct? He's the head of the Federal Reserve, and he's maybe now doing two more half base point increases over those next two FOMC meetings. All the latest details of that in tonight's recording. We'll be looking at the interest rates, the treasury notes, the bonds, the crypto, the stocks, your money, Wall Street, recession, inflation, stagflation, housing market, and more. It's a major broadcast. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. And over this one hour broadcast, stay to the very end, we'll go over those big sums of money that you can get that have landed on the table. That wad of cash is on the table in front of you, and it's available for you to grab right now. It's a forcedless check now in every U.S. state. And I'll show you how to get it, but first go to the top of the chat, go under the video, and become a member. Get that incredible newsletter tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, because you deserve these incredible sums of money. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's Evenings LA, and it starts right now. And good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful night here in Santa Monica, California. From the shores of the West Coast to the shores of the East Coast, our deepest thoughts and prayers are with the families ravaged by the fires on the west part of the United States tonight. We'll have more about that across this incredible recording, but the great news tonight is that a forcedless check is in every U.S. state. We'll be coming to that later in this video. If you have not become a member, go to the top of the chat right now and get your membership signed up because these forcedless checks are are available and I don't want you to miss them across the board. Go to the top of the chat and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you need it because we're in a bear market tonight. Dow Jones suffering big problems this week. NASDAQ as well. We'll recap that in this one hour broadcast, which starts right now. For May 13th, Friday the 13th, the news is scary, that's to say the least. And the news starts with what Wall Street endured. Wall Street endured two weeks, corporate earnings, giving guidance of that the inflationary and recessionary concerns are much more worse than initially thought. Two weeks ago, we had Apple and Amazon saying that their supply chain issues with China are very bad, and it's going to hurt their component parts for delivery of goods like the iPhone to you later this year. They said they won't have those component parts out of China. The breaking news tonight on Evening's L8 is there's new indication tonight that China will be coming out of lockdown sooner than thought. It may be in less than two weeks. Good news, but bad news. Why is that good news on one front? Because it's good news their supply chain disruption will reduce its impact on corporate earnings, impact on your wallet, impact on your inflationary pressures. 
it's bad news because they've been on lockdown and they're one of the major consumers of gasoline internationally. And when they come out of lockdown, they start driving. And then the price of gasoline goes even higher than it is tonight, which at the time of this recording, the Brent crude price is up a lot. Up four dollars, up three eighty-two today to one eleven. That's one of the highest levels we've seen since the month of March, folks. And that Dow Jones tonight up one percent, two hundred fifteen dollars up. Nasdaq up three hundred nineteen points, up three percent. And the ten-year Treasury note down a little bit to two nine two four. Meantime, crypto pulling up a little bit. Bitcoin up three percent to twenty-nine thousand. Ethereum up two up three percent to two thousand. And Decentraland up thirty-four percent to one dollar tonight. Crypto, of course, is coming back to this channel as a brand new show. Get ready to see that within just days. The House and the Senate need to get Bill Back Better Act done because the U.S. economy is stalling, stalling dramatically. And that data comes in in just a second. But when we talk about Bill Back Better Act, we also talk about a lot of other things. Number one, the midterm elections. The Democrats got to get this done right now. Because if they don't, they're out by the midterm elections. They're the controlling party. And if they can't get Build Back Better Act done, they're gone. The likely vote they have set up for before Memorial Day weekend. That would give you additional checks. Yes, additional. On top of the existing four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Every U.S. state currently has a four stimulus check. And I'm going to show you how to get it later in this recording. But the Build Back Better Act would give you more checks. How much more? Fifteen to $80,000 of additional checks on top of that. You need that in view of the surging prices of everything and the economic data stalling left and right. What is in Bill Bat Better Act? Well, those add-ons like MSC, like the $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities, like the $25,000 for the purchase of your first home, a collective package that pays you about fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks, over 30 clusters and three add-ons. What about those clusters? What are in there? In that second cluster, first cluster, we have hazard pay. $4,000 of elder care. $4,000 of care for young children. The CTC, one more year, $3,600 for the children. Plus $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Plus home repairs. In that second cluster, we have paid leave. A lot of money. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make half that, $800. Half that again, $400 a week. Four to six thousand dollars a year in that third cluster money for seniors, free and for all, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, dental, vision, hearing. But to get all this done, to get this monolith, this monstrosity of a bill called Build Back Better Act that would give you additional, repeat again, additional checks on top of those four similar checks in every US state, what do they also have to do? They also have to agree upon the voting. And tonight, a very telling part of that narrative. The telling part of that narrative tonight comes as we learn that the anguish, the tensions between Joe Manchin and Chris and Sinema is more pervasive than initially thought. This is new in the last two weeks of this channel. Two weeks ago, we learned that Chris and Sinema will absolutely not approve the Bill Back Better Act if Joe Manchin gets his way to raise corporate earnings to pay for it. I got to tell you, this is a big issue because if they don't have any money to pay for Bill Back Better Act, how do they get it done? No one has proposed an alternative, and Sinema says, I'm not on board if Joe Manchin raises anything for corporate taxes. To nine another twist as well. Not about Bill Back Better Act, but it shows the tensions of these senators. Roe versus Wade had that major leak for the Supreme Court about two weeks ago. But tonight, Joe Manchin says he will support a Senate bill that would codify Roe v. Wade as we had 50 years of precedence, said Manchin in a statement. But he will not do more. The people want us to just basically codify Roe versus Wade. It does not just codify Roe versus Wade, what has been proposed by Chris and Sinema and other Democrats. Gillibrand slammed Joe Manchin, saying, again, he's not coming on board with something that's so very obvious. If they can't agree upon something so straightforward as Roe versus Wade legislation in the Senate, can they agree upon Bill Bapanarak? <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. I'm not going to read the tea leaves on that one, because Joe Manchin has often called his bluff before. The latest details tonight, though, indicates that this U.S. economy is not doing well. And the data going into tonight's recording is hideously bad. 
what's at issue. Let's look at what we've learned this week. We learned this week that my predictions for this economy came in exactly as thought. Last year, when we were starting to see the tinkerings of inflation, last summer, 2021, I said that by December 2021, inflation will be 8% and not coming back down. I said it's not temporary or transitory, the word j Powell used at the time. What happened? It came in at 8%. What happened after that? Inflation came in at 8% in January. I got it right. February, I got it right. March, 8% still. I got it right. What about April? Well, here we go. This week, we had two benchmarks come in, and they are the PPI and the CPI. It shows that from February to March, the U.S. economy, the inflation went a little bit higher than even 8%, a little bit higher. And then when comparing February from March to April, here you go, it stayed still that high. Whoa, very, very telling. And why is this fascinating? Because Jay Powell said he had the tools to get it down. He did not get it down, and he's not going to get it down. Let's go over the data tonight. The producer price index number, or at least on Thursday, showed that the price of manufacturers get for products went up 11% year to date. That's April, last year to April, this year. And when comparing March to April of this year, how much did we rise in the last 30 days? Half a percentage point. When removing energy and trade services, the core PPI, we went up March versus April, about a half percentage point. And that is actually in line with what Walsh expected, that the PPI would show us hotter in April than in the month of March for inflation. What do we learn on Thursday, on Wednesday? On Wednesday, the CPI number was released, the Consumer Price Index for Goods. This is how much you pay for the goods. And it showed that it rose 8.3% year to date, and it was still hotter compared to the month of March, or about the same. These are the highest numbers for inflation since the 1980s. Translation, inflation is still hot in May. Translation, everything that Jay Powell said he's going to do to get inflation down did not work. What happened? Last year, I told you inflation is going to come in at 8%. It's not going to come back down. Then, earlier this year, I said there's a history of the Federal Reserve and inflation. Historically, the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates to bring down inflation, and it has never worked. And every time they've tried it, it sent the economies into recession. Why does it generally not work, and why is it not going to work this time? Because what the Federal Reserve is having a problem with understanding is that the inflation caused right now, red, oil, is caused by supply chain disruptions, three of them, coming out of COVID, Putin invading Ukraine, and China on lockdown. Nothing that Jay Powell has in his toolbox can solve that inflation. And I've been saying that expression all this week, all last week, all the week before. Jay Powell has no tools in his toolbox to get it down. What did Jay Powell say just less than 24 hours ago? I think I have some tools in my toolbox to get it down. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, let's go over the details on what Jay Powell said less than 24 hours ago. He said the following. He said that a soft landing, getting inflation back down to 2% by the end of the year, while keeping the labor market strong is our focus. And it's a quite challenging to comments right now, but for a couple of reasons. It won't be easy. No one thinks it's going to be easy. Nonetheless, we have there are many pathways for us to get us down. Our, inflation is, our goal is to get inflation down to 2% by the end of the year without having the economy go into recession. Or to put it this way, with the labor market remaining fairly strong. That's what I've been trying to achieve. The thing that one thing cannot really fail to do is resort to price stability, though. Nothing in this economy works. The economy doesn't work if there's no price stability. He goes on to say, uh, I'm not sure how much a difference it would have made if I moved more quickly. We did the best I could. Now let's look at the, now we will see the picture clearly and we will determine to use our tools to get it back down to price stability. There you go. What's going to happen? It ain't going to work. J. Powell has had six months of 8% inflation since December last year. Has he gotten it down? No. In fact, inflation is actually a bit hotter. His tools have not worked. Will they work? No, they won't. He did a quarter basis point two months ago. He did a half basis point two weeks ago at the May FOMC meeting. And the guidance I'm giving you tonight, brand new tonight, is that he's going to do two more half basis point increases at least for June and July. That's not going to work either. You're still going to have inflation. 
And by inflation in July at 8%, that would be over seven months of an 8% inflation. Plus, you have the price of gasoline at a level over $4 a gallon, domestic, unleaded, at the pump, nationwide average, which I said in March of this year is unsustainable into May. You'll be in going into June with that same level. When the price of bread unsustainable, as I said, it would not be sustained into the month of May. That's continuing as well. So what does this mean across the board for you? What it means across the board for you is that Jay Powell's raising interest rates and you're not getting the benefit of reduced price of goods. Number one. Your gasoline at the pump is going to go up, $111 a gallon. Brent crude tonight, China's coming on off of lockdown in less than two weeks. That means the price of gasoline at the pump, if it was not hot enough, it's going to be even higher. Yes, sorry to report the news to you. Number two, when you're looking at Joe Biden making the swap from cola to inflation to raise your benefits up, he can still do it today and lock in that 8%. It's indisputable tonight that inflation in the United States for May 2022 is still 8%. Not to scare you on Friday the 13th, but inflation at 8% in the month of May was not supposed to be here. So thought Jay Powell. His talk is not walking the walk, and that's why Wall Street plummeted. Wall Street continues to erode because Jay Powell says things, like in that comment we're seeing right now. They says again, inflation down to 2% at the end of the year. It's not going to happen. He's going to get down to 4%. That means an additional $100 for your SS benefits. Swapping cola for inflation night tonight, that would be $200 on top of that. Let's recap. In running for the President of the United States, Joe Biden said he wants to swap cola for inflation. Then his presidential platform, he said the same. Cola is your current benchmark for, for benefits. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. If they swap cola for inflation, then every December they use inflation to determine how much your benefits should go up. Once they go up, they never go down. Inflation in December was 8%. COLA was 5%. So they raise your benefits up 5%, not 8%. But if Joe Biden makes that swap from COLA to inflation tonight, you'd lock in at $200 more per month. And if inflation tracks at 4% late this year, that'd be another $100. Balls. That's $300. Because remember, once your benefits go up, they never go down. Now, what else is Jay Powell going to do? He's going to give you higher interest rates. Higher interest rates, which cost your flexible rate mortgage to go higher, your credit card debt to go higher, your car loans to go higher, and also to erode Wall Street. Tonight, the Dow is up $215 or 1%, 215 points or 1%. NASDAQ up 319 or 3%. The 10-year Treasury note down a little bit to 294 and bit going up 3% to 29,500, Ethereum up 3% to 2,000, essentially up 34% to 103. But Wall Street's unhappy. Wall Street's unhappy because they now see that the risk associated with what j is doing is not embedded in the market. Why? Earlier this year, I had told you that we're going to recession for two years starting in January 2022. 2023. And I said, those risks are not inherently embedded. In fact, I told you most people had not even talked about this. Tonight, that's the talk of the town. The talk of the town is two years of recession. Because no one really believes that Jay Powell is going to get it right. And that is why you need to grab every check that's available across the board. A big wad of checks, $80,000 of checks or more are available on a table in front of you. And those incredible four symbols checks are in every U.S. state. And that is why you got to grab these wads of checks. If there's one thing we learned clearly, dramatically, this week, was from Paul Judith Jones, a billionaire hedge fund manager, who said, this is a time of economic uncertainty. And what you got to do is you have to do capital preservation. Capital preservation means saving your money. And tonight, let's look at these astronomical checks that are in every U.S. state, $6,500 to $12,000, $15,000 to $80,000, $25,000 all the way up to $150,000. Every U.S. state has incredible checks. Why would you ignore that cash on the table and leave it there when billionaires tell you grab every wad of cash you can and conserve it and save it 
because the economic future is going to get very bad. That is why you want to become a member. Go to the top of the chat and below under the video and sign up to become a member. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. After the commercial break, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. Tonight, when we look at the student loan debt forgiveness, though, fascinating, the president is likely to forgive more debts as well. He forgave initially student loan debts for individuals under seven stimulus for individuals who went into work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation. Then the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation. Next, he took all your debts that were in default, put them in good standing. Thereafter, he said if your debts were procured by fraud by the university against you, he's forgiving them as well. And he also said, I'm not doing 50000 but I'm looking at the situation. What is the predictions coming in? The predictions is when we're looking at student loan debt forgiveness that the president may likely announce $10,000 across the board. We'll be watching that as well. Yes, the month of May and June is going to be very heated because, one, we're going to see what's happening with that student loan debt forgiveness. Two, we're going to see what happens with that SS300. Three, we're going to see what happens with that Build Back Better Act. A lot of money in a short period of time, very exciting. But what's equally exciting is the big money available for you tonight. That big money that's available for you tonight is the fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state. And tonight we're going to reassess it and look at it at a different light because it's so important for you to understand all these dynamics at issue. Bear market 2022, yes. Falling coins, falling stocks, surging bonds, yes. Situations getting very bad. Whether you talk about the housing market, the crypto market, whether you talk about the auto market or the labor market, let's talk about that as well. The data continues to come on in bad across the board. On Thursday, we had the unemployment number, a second separate economic report released Thursday, and it showed how many people lost their jobs and claimed unemployment benefits for the first time the week ending May 7th. What happened? A big surge. It went up. 1,000 people for the period previous period to a number we've not seen since pre-pandemic levels, 203,000. That's too high, folks. That showed 203,000 new unemployment claims last week, people who newly went on unemployment. Notice that quote from Jay Powell earlier this recording. He says, we want to not disrupt the labor market while bringing price stability. Well, guess what? The labor market ain't stable, and the prices aren't stable. So far, 0 for 4 for Jay Powell. He's also giving you higher interest rates, and he's not solving inflation. <laughs> what does this mean for you? It means that the situation is very fluid, and it could get very worse very quickly. In the second half of this video, I'm going to go over where this economy is going, because you know what I do on this channel. We do at least three different things three different things on evenings, LA, and primetime. First, I give you guidance about where this economy is going, because you need to know about it months ahead of time. And that's coming up late in this recording. Then I give you guidance about what could be next on the horizon for wads of cash coming from the federal government. And finally, I get your wads of cash today. Not five weeks from now, not five months from now, not five years from now, not five minutes from now, five, well, 35 seconds from now. It's coming up after the commercial break. It's Friday the 13th, and there's nothing scary here at all. There's nothing scary except that these checks... These four stimulus checks in every U.S. state will not be around forever. That's what's scary. And what you need to do is get the checks right away. Get ready to get those checks in the second half of this video. Become a member, and I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. As Friday the 13th edition of Evie's L.A. continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a beautiful, beautiful night for May 13th, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. How are you? Thank you for joining me on America's Most Watched Show for Financial News in Prime Time. This is Evenings LA. If you did not during the commercial break, make sure you go under this video and become a member. Because in the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks that are available in every U.S. state. And you need to get them. You need to get that membership signed up right today because these checks will run out. And they're massive wads of cash. And with that, let's go into the big news tonight as we start with those big checks starting right now. What's important to understand is how the lead up to the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state started. And let's go over that because I haven't featured it on this channel for several months. In December 2020, we were waiting for second stimulus to get passed between Steven Nushin and Nancy Pelosi. It was not happening. So millions of Americans who were watching this channel needed money. And I searched for it and I got them. What I called the tan at the time, purple. It basically now is check C. Rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. I knew when the Congress doesn't act, I need to get you money somewhere else. In the case of these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, it mirrors my efforts back two years ago today as well. Let's go over what happened. About mid-March, I saw that the Bill Back Better Act had still not passed congressional forced stimulus checks. And with that, I said, I got to find you forced stimulus checks from someone else. But it was actually easy to find them. Why? Because the President of the United States made the announcement. The President of the United States made the press release. And his economic council members made the statements. Forced stimulus checks going out. And I immediately said, here you go. We got it. Get them right today. Thereafter, states came out and said, we have some forced stimulus checks for you as well. I immediately delivered the news. Go get it. Here you go. How did this get condensed? Well, it took a lot of effort. And to understand how these recordings are made, hours of research daily go into the recordings. In some cases, I sometimes wonder if I should do this like a cooking channel, where you have the camera above the table looking down. Because if you saw this table in front of me, I have piles and piles of notes hours and hours of research every single day to prepare you for these checks. What do I do? I condense all that research into a very clean, concise, informational, direct-to-apply, linked-up newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday. That is the benefit of membership. You don't have this anywhere in the United States. First of all, broadcast media, print media, cable news, other YouTube channels, they don't cover these checks. They don't know they exist nor do they wish to cover them. They want to cover Elon purchasing Twitter. They want to cover Florida and Disney battles. And they want to cover Ford stock. They won't want to cover a Ford stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's too complicated for them to cover. So that's the first situation. The second one is that these checks are first come, first serve. And there's anything I've talked to you as a channel is that you have to pounce as a purple hawk because when checks are first come, first serve, they run out of money and you don't want them to run out of money. And with that, let's start with the focus you have to start with tonight, which is the following. The first focus you have to look at is that this is 2022 and I can't let you use a reference point of 2023 or 2022. Two or 2021 as how you think stimulus should be delivered. Wash it out and move on. These four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state, and the way they're being delivered is the way you got to do it. So do not think there's another way you do it. This is the way you do it. Number two, these are big wads of cash. You should be ecstatic. You should be ecstatic that I've taken the time to look high and low to find you massive paydays, massive paydays of four stimulus checks 
fortunes of money, tens of thousands of dollars in a single stimulus check. And that, that money is available. You should be ecstatic that that money is there and you can get it. Let's take a step back for a second. In 2020, when the pandemic first hit, we had the first stimulus package. And in there was the PPP, the PUA, the EIDL, the EIDL grant. They paid sometimes five, ten thousand, twenty thousand, maybe thirty thousand. But they didn't pay these types of sums of money. Eighty thousand dollars for a fourth stimulus check. Yeah, they didn't pay that. Now, in that first stimulus check package, there was a fourth stimulus check, check, check that comes from IRS, and that was a measly twelve hundred approximate dollars. The second one, six hundred dollars. The third one, you know, twelve hundred, eleven hundred, something measly. These fourth stimulus checks are not a couple hundred dollars. They're not a measly thousand dollars. They are 60,000, 80,000, 12,000. These are massive tens of thousands of dollars of checks. You should be ecstatic. I'm ecstatic for you. Finally, what's important for you to remember is two things. One, you qualify. What are you doing? You qualify. If you are a single individual, 75,000 or less, you qualify. Married couple, 150,000 or less, you qualify. If you're a renter owner, you qualify. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, Veterans Benefits, you qualify. Go get it. Lastly, for anyone who says something like doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist, something along the lines of it's not there, you got to sit back and just smile. Why? Because they're leaving extra money for you. Let's make this very clear, folks. There's not a lot of money for this for most checks. And every time that someone doesn't want it, let them not want it. I love it. I love when someone doesn't want it. You can just stay over in the corner and not want the money because it leaves more of it for us. And with that, how do you get it? Step one, go to the top of the channel and subscribe right today, right now. Hit that subscribe button. Step two, hit that membership link. Join the channel right now. Step three, go in under the, the bell at the front of this channel where it says alerts and hit it and make sure it's set to all. All right, now you're ready to rock and roll. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the YouTube alert sends you the membership newsletter delivered to you, and it features that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And what are those four stimulus checks? Let's go over each of them starting right now. Do you feel excited? I really do. I hope you do as well. Check A is the first of the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. It is $6,500 to $12,000. Did you hear me right? Up to $12,000 thousand dollars this ain't some measly three hundred dollars stimulus check folks sixty five hundred dollars to twelve thousand dollars it's a four stimulus check is in every u.s state seventy five thousand less single individual married couple hundred fifty thousand less you can get it and if you're on benefits like ssi ssdi veterans benefits social security you can get it as well it's called the homeowners weatherizing grant check how do you get it Step one, you subscribe. Step two, you become a member. Step three, you open that membership newsletter. Go down in that membership newsletter when you get it, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and find check A. Check A is required, requires you to apply online. Check A requires you to apply online. Where? It's in the newsletter. I put it all together for you. Hours of research every day go into these recordings, and that newsletter is handwritten by me. You go right into that newsletter, you go down to check A, click the link, go in your state, then your state, choose weatherizing grant, check, and apply. Check B is also a force almost check in every U.S. state. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000. Let's just pause there and digest the beauty of that number. Fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus checks. When was the last time you got an $80,000 stimulus check from the U.S. government? Maybe you got the AIDL loan. Maybe you got a massive PPP day. Maybe you, that's about it. You didn't get that for PUA. You didn't get that for FPUC. You didn't get that for AIDL grant. No one got these checks of this magnitude before. Well, you got third stimulus with me last year, potentially. But no one has ever gotten a four stimulus check, has gotten a stimulus check like this broad stroke ever. That's why you should be so ecstatic you have found this channel so ecstatic you are a member of the purple power community so ecstatic you are applying to get 15 to eighty thousand dollars of checks just think in your mind how long can you financially survive on eighty thousand dollars in your bank account 
You have the answer in your mind. That's why this is such great news. This is for available for the same eligibility. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, Veterans Benefits. It's a four symbols check in every U.S. state. It is the homeowner's grant check. How do you get this? Again, very simple. Subscribe. Become a member. Then in that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, go down to the link, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to Check B. At Check B, it describes it in the newsletter. In Check B in the newsletter, there's a link. You click the link. You go in and apply. And you're done. How simple is that? Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of checks. Let's go to check C. Check C is for my renters, and also for my homeowners. How do you get check C? Check C revolves calling on the phone, not applying online. Don't need to keep track of which one does what because why? It's on the membership newsletter. In that membership newsletter, go down to check C. How simple is this? Here I spent hours and hours of research preparing and organizing for you a simple, concise newsletter that details first check A, then check B under it, and then check C under it. I do all the work for you. All you have to do is make the call and apply. It's all done for you, all the work. Let's go into that, mem let's go into that check C. This is money for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. How do you get this? First, you go into the membership newsletter, go down there. And this is about $2,000 a month over 12 months. This is an MSC. Many viewers of this channel have gotten a lot more money than that. And it all started in spring of the last year. That's how long this money has been around. Let's look at the numbers, sums, massive sums of money that people have gotten for the sums of money. $27,000. Here is Nisi under there, who's $20,000. Then she went to $23,000. Since then, she's gotten about... I think about ten to ten twenty thousand more. She keeps on going back and getting more money because that's how you do check C. You keep on getting more sums of money. Look at these enormous sums of money. Here is Mark. He was at one. He was at fifty. Now he's at a hundred thousand. Then he went to hundred. Now he's at one hundred sixty-six thousand. I should say. Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. Now she's at one hundred twenty. These are massive sums of money. You deserve them as well. What is the difference between those people and you? There is no difference. The only difference is they made the initiative. They made the effort to get that forced most check in every U.S. state. That was check C. Again, check C. How, where, you go right into that newsletter. Down to check C, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll tell you who to call, what to say, where to say it, and how to do it. It's all in the newsletter. It's written out. It's almost like a transcript of what's said in the video, but with more detail. And with the link right in to apply and get the money. It's like I'm holding your hand and bringing you right to the door to apply and get the cash and get that water cash in your hand. That's the beauty of the membership newsletter. Nowhere in the United States tonight is anything like this. And nowhere in the United States will anything like this be around until they pass Bill Buy Better Act. What's important for you to know is that a force simple check is in every USA. And no one's ever going to tell you that anywhere else because no one puts the effort to find it. No other news channel, broadcast channel, cable news, or YouTube channel puts the effort to show you the check, deliver the news, deliver a newsletter to you, write up the check, show you the check, give you the application to go in and apply, and organizes in a concise way for you and looks for the next check to add to the newsletter on a regular basis. Yeah, that's the effort I put in. All you have to do is make the call or apply. I make the effort. You got to make the effort to get the check. And that is the landscape of 2022. Don't say that you didn't do anything in 2021. You didn't do anything in 2020. This is now. This is here. Now, let's go to check D. Check D is a little bit different because check D is a whole different ball of wax. What is check D? States were given a lot of money under the third stimulus. And they got to use or lose the money. Losing means they got to return it back to the federal government. So the states have now decided to spend the money on you. Not every state, but about 24 of the states so far. And those states are all detailed in the newsletter at Check D. Check D is not a check you really inherently apply for. It's just a check that sort of a appears. But, again, let's make it very blunt and very obvious. When we talk about Check D, we're talking about a check for a couple hundred dollars. When we're talking about Check B... We're talking about an $80,000 check, folks. 
Do you want a few hundred dollars? Do you want $80,000? How long will you be able to survive on a couple hundred dollars? A day? Two days? How long can you survive on $80,000? A year? Two years? Yeah. That is why I spend more time on the channel on check A, check B, and check C, which has gone all the way up to $250,000 for, for some viewers as well. That is why you want to become a member, get that incredible newsletter, and get those checks across the board. What's happening tonight is that everything that I told you was going to happen has happened, but in some cases, actually a little bit more severe. And what are we referring to? We're referring to the markets. We're referring to the downturn. We're referring to the realization among Americans of all walks of life that something's wrong with this economy. And tonight, that something wrong is far from the bottom. It doesn't matter what part of this U.S. economy you're looking at, everything is going bad, and it's not done yet. When you look at the stock market, we end another week down. Seventh consecutive week, stocks, bonds, stocks, uh, stocks NASDAQ, and Dow Jones down again. Most stocks are below their 52-week highs, so that means that if you had bought the stock in the last year, you're losing money already. If you bought the stock in the last two years, some of those stocks are still down. All the FANG stocks are down. And this comes as a lot of stocks are down 30% sometimes in one day. 10-year Treasury note is higher, 2.924%. Why is that bad for you? It means that your credit card debt's going to be more expensive. Your mortgage payment's going to be more expensive. Your, uh, your car loan is going to be more expensive. All those things are going to be more expensive. Crypto crashed dramatically this week, and the crashing is not over. That is why I'm bringing back the crypto show to this channel. Decentraline gets really interesting now. Decentraline is up 34%, up 34% tonight to $1. This is a coin that was $3 at one point earlier this summer. Now it's $1. And why are so many things going so poorly across the board? It just snowballs. It continues to cause a domino effect. Let's give you an example tonight. Terra USAD, which was an algorithmic stable coin, took a massive crashing this week, and it came after the concerns about Luna. Luna was its sister coin, and Luna was supposed to be pegged to one dollar, supposed to resemble the U.S. dollar, supposed to be pegged to a dollar. And guess what happened? In one day this week, three billion—that's B with a billion—three billion dollars of Tether coins, stable coins, disappeared, removed in a single day. And this, as major concerns across the board continue to unravel, Yellen, uh, Jan Yellen, your, your Treasury Secretary, has addressed the situation and she says, I wouldn't characterize it as a scale as a real threat to financial stability, but it's growing very rapidly. She's very worried about the situation. The present same kind of risk we've known for centuries is connected with bank runs. What's at issue? Whether we're talking about Luna, whether we're talking about uh, whether we're talking about Tether, whether we're talking about Decentraline or Bitcoin or Ethereum, everything is really very very dicey, very very dicey. Luna, the sister coin to Terra, collapsed this week to zero. It was eighty dollars earlier this week. Now it's zero, and it was supposed to be backed by some sort of funds. The volatility just crippled the coin. Tonight, Bitcoin and Ethereum coming back out of those lows. But if you were watching crypto on this channel last summer or last winter, you remember how I recorded that I always talked about the threat of Bitcoin getting under 27,000. I always talked about the threat of Ethereum getting to 1,700. I always talked about the threat of Decentraline coming back down. And guess what I talked to you about at the time? I said when economic markets unravel, people make a run on their crypto and sell it. Guess what's happening tonight? Everyone's making a run on different things. They're making a run on real estate. Housing starts down for consecutive months. A lot of people trying to sell can't sell now because the glut of the real estate market is starting to build up inventory. There you go. Number two, people trying to sell their tech stocks. Or they're stocks that have no corporate earnings. They're basically stops on projections and, 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 and hopes of a better future. 
that happened on Thursday morning when the Dow Jones opened up dramatically and the Nasdaq opened up dramatically down in just the first few minutes. The situation continues to unravel. And the bond yields continue to go up. And no one has stability for the situation at the Federal Reserve because the Federal Reserve is just letting the stock market run its course. Remember, the Federal Reserve will not stop in, step in and help the stock market. The Federal Reserve will not come in and help the 10-year tre- treasury note. The Federal Reserve will not come in and help the crypto market. And the Federal Reserve will not come in and help you either. What will they do? They will raise interest rates. And by raising interest rates, they will send you into a recession. What's at issue? The Federal Reserve historically has raised interest rates to battle inflation and has never worked. It's a very, very difficult dance step. One analyst earlier today described it beautifully this way. It's like trying to thread a needle by wearing oven mitts. Ain't going to work raising interest rates to battle inflation. And Jay Powell now understands that people don't buy him anymore. They don't believe him anymore. And Jay Powell's biggest tool for bringing down inflation is talking about bringing down inflation. And when they don't believe him, then they don't like what he has to say. And whether he says, I'm not going to do three quarters of a basis point, well, no one really thought he was. When he says, I'm going to maybe do half basis point or quarter, they're not really focused on that anymore either. They're focused on why this recession has to be obtained by j Powell in the pursuit of raising a lowering inflation if he can't lower inflation because of a toolbox. Tonight, we're going to have a very fluid situation we know in two weeks. Why? That Chinese lockdown. Things I can project, things I cannot project. Chinese coming out of lockdown will have two major twists. One, price of gasoline is going to soar through the roof. You think it's high now? Get ready. It's going to be a thousand percent worse. They're coming out of lockdown. They're coming out of the house. They're going to drive their cars. One of the biggest consumers of gasoline internationally, China, they're going to drive their cars. There's going to be a shortage more of gasoline. The price is going to go up. Tonight's 111, Brent crude. Get ready for 120? Yeah. Get ready for 120. Very, very scary. Now, coming out of lockdown for China, now that they're driving their cars, they're going back to work in the factories, now they're getting the component parts ready for Apple to put in the iPhone. Good, but no one knows this sort of supply chain better than the corporations themselves. And they all got different supply chain issues. Whether you're talking about Arm, Under Armour last week that fell 23% in one day, or Apple that has really lost all its major steam, it's down 52-week low, we don't know the supply chain disruption unique to that business because it's all very different. case of Apple, it's actually getting the part into the phone. In the case of Under Armour, which is the sporting goods uh, apparel company, they can actually ship the product. So it's not the component, it's the shipping out of China. All these parts make it very difficult for Jay Powell to do any of this. And if he can't do any of this, what does he do? He still raises inflation. He still raises inflation. What do the Democrats do? They sit back and they see inflation going higher. They sit back and they see recession on the horizon. You can't deny that recession's on the horizon. You can't deny what I said back in February. Let's take it back to October. October of last year, before Halloween, I said, there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. What are they doing there? If they invade Ukraine, it's going to be the biggest economic story of 2022. They did. And once they invaded in March, what did I say then on this channel? I said, the price of gasoline, unsustainable into the month of May. The price of bread, unsustainable in the month of May. Guess where they are today? Still there. Unsustainable. When I said unsustainable, I also said, if it sustains that level into the month of May, we're going to recession. Where are they? They're actually worse. The price of gasoline is actually worse than when Putin invaded. The price of wheat is actually worse than when he invaded. The numbers have actually gone up higher than what I said was unsustainable. Now it's basically really unsustainable. That's number one. Number two, when China went into lockdown, I said, this is the second major economic story of 2022 because they are going to cause supply chain disruption. And we have Jay Powell really fixated on that inflation rate inflationary rate and those interest rates and now he's going to have another prong he does not have a tool to fix whoa this is going to be a big problem the good news is that the lockdown in china is going to end the bad news is going to take a couple weeks for it to filter through the economy and by then 
Jay Powell will have hit and hit and hit again with those half basis point increases. What's the takeaway for you tonight? The takeaway is that you need to get every wad of cash that's available. No time or place to talk about it. No time to think about it. No time to do it wrong. No time to paraphrase what I say in the recordings and do your version of it. The time right now is to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. You need to get it because the economic situation is going to ravel very quickly. And when it does, you're going to have that cash in the bank because I told you to get it as soon as it became law. These checks became law in March. Look at these dates. So you don't want to wait around. They're going to run out of funds. First, get that incredible check A. Get that newsletter and go right into check A and apply tonight. Get that incredible check B. Go right in that newsletter and apply online tonight. Get it, that newsletter and go right in that check C and get ready to start phone calling tomorrow or when they open up their offices. Some are open on the weekends, some aren't. Go right in there and make those 15, you heard me right, 15 phone calls and get those incredible checks from check C. Don't wait. You should have multiple applications on file from check C's, check B, and check A. You shouldn't have one item. You shouldn't be waiting for one item. You shouldn't be qualifying the situation. You shouldn't be delaying the situation. You shouldn't be talking about the past. You should be dealing with the present. Go to the top of the channel, become a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. You are very fortunate. I'm very fortunate that we are together as a family. Why? Because I know what you need. I know what you need. I've been doing this for a while. No one anywhere in the United States has focused more on getting people money than me for you. No YouTube channel, no broadcast channel, no cable news channel. No one has focused on getting people more money and has achieved getting people more money. $35 million. Every day that someone needs money, my focus is on getting you the money. Every day that you need more money, my focus is on you getting more money. Every day that someone says, the money doesn't exist, I love it. I say, go to the side because you're leaving more money for me and my family, the Purple Power community. Together, we're going to get all those incredible checks together. We're going to put them in the bank and we're going to save them because what's on that horizon ain't good. 2023 ain't going to be good. 2024 ain't going to be good. What you need to do is get that membership right now, get that newsletter right now, get those applications on file right now. Not one application, as many applications as you can. Every application that is available in that newsletter that you are relevant for, you get on file right tonight. And with that, you will feel so much better because you watched a channel that told you where this economy is going before it's there. That told you that 8% inflation was coming in December? It was. That told you it was going to be sustained through the month of April? It was. That told you it may get actually worse? It has. That told you inflationary rates are going to stay high and then insurance rates are not going to come higher? They are. That is why I prepare you for the money, for the situation, and then I show you how to get the money as well. As we go into a big weekend, there will be a lot of breaking news throughout the weekend, so stay with me. And we'll be interacting throughout the night and throughout the day. Coming up next is Evenings I Light at 5 o'clock. Evenings Countdown at 6. Street and Stimulus at 7. Evenings Extra at 8. And then Sunset at 9. Then our overnight shows. And we're back tomorrow morning at Early Mornings I Light. And then Mornings I Light Countdown at 7 a.m. Don't miss those morning shows as well. A voice stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Remember the steps you need to do. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, hit that membership newsletter at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. And make sure your alerts are set to all by hitting that bell at the top of the channel. God bless to all of you. Hope you survived Friday the 13th. Hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> Hope recession didn't scare you. I hope the bear didn't scare you. A bear market. It's a dancing bear market, not pear market. Uh, <laughs> and with that, have a beautiful night from the shores of Santa Monica, California. God bless. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next as Ally continues. <laughs>